My name is Laura Murray, and I'm the president of the National Museum of Language. And on behalf of the museum, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to today's program, Social Justice Themes in Song and Verse from Africa and the Diaspora. For those not familiar with the National Museum of Language, we are a nonprofit, fully virtual museum dedicated to examining the history, impact, and art of language. Through the many exhibits hosted on our website at languagemuseum.org, we explore the transformative powers of language as well as linguistic and cultural diversity. And I want to call your attention to the, what looks like a painting here in the front. Uh, this is um, writing in the Amharic language from Ethiopia, uh, sometimes called Gez. And this was at an in-person event that the museum had a few years ago before COVID. The paintings on this wall were done by Solomon Asfaw as part of our series, speaker series. And when we had in-person speaker events, this goes back to 2009, we had this event. He painted this large piece which says welcome while explaining about how he was using the colors of the marketplace and the palettes of the weavers in the design. Um, so he, he was born in Ethiopia. He graduated from the University School of Fine Arts and Design in Addis Ababa and has exhibited his work in Africa, Europe, and the United States. So this is, uh, again, from a program that we had in the past. And since today we'll be including um, a poem from Ethiopia in Amharic, we thought it would be appropriate to include this as, as part of the event. So now I'll move on to uh, today's event. Uh, for one of our newer exhibits is called The Power of Poetry. Resisting Injustice with Language, which offers poetry from around the world. Um, so one of, uh, when we talk about exhibits for a virtual museum, these are uh, things that we post on our website. So we have speaker events, so, um, which are held over Zoom. So for example, our poetry exhibit, we have many poems from uh, maybe over 30 countries posted in this exhibit. And in our exhibits, we, uh, we usually have the original language that the uh, poem or story was written in, and we would have an English translation as well. Uh, so in our Power of Poetry exhibit, the theme is resisting injustice with language, social justice poetry. Um, and this offers poetry from around the world uh, from ancient to contemporary times. And we will include some very ancient poetry today. Our first piece in a few minutes will be from ancient Egypt. It was originally written in hieroglyphics. You'll get to see that. Um, it was in a tomb and we have an expert here. He is going to read the poem in ancient Egyptian, not Arabic, but ancient Egyptian and an English translation. So that's, that will be our first speaker today once I finish the introduction. So I'll hurry up through that. Okay, <laughs> so we have five themes in our social justice poetry exhibit. Authoritarianism, colonialism, economics, gender, and what we, a combined theme we call identity and ethnicity. So these are all areas where people experience uh, social justice issues in their societies. As we were developing this exhibit, we initially recognized that our representation of African social justice poetry was quite limited, and we sought to rectify this. So today's program showcases much of the diversity we have brought to the exhibit by featuring poetry from many African countries and the African diaspora, including the United States and other countries in the Western Hemisphere. Um, as with our larger Power of Poetry exhibit, we will be sharing poems and songs from ancient times through the present, illustrating that themes of social justice are universal throughout history and across cultures and civilizations. Poems will be presented through a combination of recordings and live performances. Whenever possible, we will be presenting the poems in their original languages and in English translations and select poems will be also be presented in Spanish. Uh, these are original translations 
into Spanish that we did for this event uh, to uh, be able to represent that community, which is also an important community in our area. Before we begin the program, I would like to take a moment to thank the Anacostia Trails Heritage Area, which has made this program possible through a generous grant. We have also been honored to partner with Howard University in developing the program. We have two wonderful interns from Howard who have provided excellent support to the man during this project. And would your interns like to stand up a moment? And this is, this is Ife from Nigeria, and this is Wirkene from uh, Ethiopia and Brooklyn. <laughs> and in addition, some of our authors and performers today include Howard University students. I would also like to acknowledge a gentleman named Martin White, who hosts a fantastic repository of African poetry on a website that he created called AfricanPoems.net. So it's easy to, easy to remember, AfricanPoems.net. Uh, and he has graciously allowed us to use several works from his website in touring today's program and in our larger social justice poetry exhibit. We're also grateful to our drummers, Jeffrey B. Halverson, PhD, holding the hand up over there. <laughs> and Neil Peacock, who will be providing be providing a drumming accompaniment um, throughout the program, different points you'll see. Okay. And, uh, and finally, we also want to thank Prince George's County and the Greenbelt Library for providing space for us to gather. And in a late breaking development, uh, today we have Greenbelt local access cable television here recording the event. <laughs> so, in a week or two, this will be um, broadcast on their channel and will also be available on their website. Yeah. Um, finally, we hope you will stay on after the performance performances to enjoy some traditional African snacks and refreshments from the Riggs Road International Market. Okay, so now we're getting ready to start the program. And to start off, please enjoy a video performance of a song called It's Movement Time. Um, this was a song that was created by a group in uh, south, uh, in the East Los Angeles called Las Cafeteras. They're a Chicano band uh, that combines traditional styles with contemporary social commentary. So you may be wondering why we're having that in a poem. African poetry exhibit. It's because the style of music that they're using is called Harocho, Son Harocho, which is a, an Afro-Mexican style that is used in that, uh, you know, that area of the world, about the country, southeastern California and Mexico. So the rhythm and all of that. Um, and this style is often used in music that speaks out against racial racial injustice and systemic oppression. So with no further ado, we will start. It's movement time. Enjoy. books got it all wrong, so I come to you with a song. In 1810, with a great grito de pasión, se levantaron con razón. Black and brown fighting together on a day I'll always remember. In el cinco de mayo, con a grito de gallo, black, white, and brown pleading together on a day I'll always remember. Really, it hasn't been that long, so just in case Cat Williams had you guessing, let me kick y'all down with a little history lesson. In the 19th century, while the U.S. promoted degradation, annihilation with its military and U.S. Navy, Mexico got rid of the caste system, voted for its first indigenous president, even getting rid of legalized slavery. The Underground Railroad also ran south, 
Let's let black folks to freedom with Mexico right there to receive them. In 1910, it was Mexican men with Pancho Villa and Zapata fighting for tierra, libertad y techo with Adelitas on the front line with bullets across their pecho. In the year 1946, it was the Mendez family that fought against segregation in schools. Because before that, they treated us like fools pushing us out into gangs, wars, and drugs. And then they get pissed off at us when we become crips and bloods, traviesos, zutsuras, pachucos, folkloristas, punks, bomberas, haraneras in the heat, haraneras with the bomb ass beats. Talking about what's really going on in the streets. In the 60s, in the streets of Oakland, California, Black Panthers organized for answers. Young lords in New York fought against wars. The Stonewall Rebellion remained true for the rights of the LGBTQ. AIM, who was down for native rights with no shame in their game. Brown raised in LA learning how to fight and doing what's right. In the campos of California, Filipinos were the first ones to lay down the boycott. Screaming in solidarity, Isang Baksak, one rise, one fall. You come for one, you come for all. And today, Arizona and Alabama, they don't play. Carving out racist laws like it's made out of clay. I stand with Emmett, Trayvon, Oscar, and Bell. With my mentor, Mumia, up in the cell. Telling you I'd rather be blind than to stay quiet on a day where my people are hunt down like prey. My ability to breathe is directly connected to my ability to see It's not about me, never was, never will be It's about we It's time to move, y'all My people It's movement time All right, so, um, Ed, you ready to come up? Thanks <laughs> So as I mentioned in the opening segment, the larger power, our larger power poetry exhibit is centered around the five social justice themes. We will be exploring several of those themes today uh, th throughout the program, the first of which will be authoritarianism. Our first example of poetry with this theme dates all the way back to ancient Egypt. Ed Hostetter, a member of our museum, will be performing three poems entitled Plowing and Sowing, Reaping and Threshing in both ancient Egyptian and English. These three poems are excerpts from hieroglyphic inscriptions which date to around 1400 BC. They depict the chief executive, middle management and subordinate employees who are conducting the business of agriculture. So you can actually see the hieroglyphic inscriptions and so on, images on the uh, screen there, as well as the first poetic excerpt, uh, Plowing and Sowing in Egyptian and in English. Haru Nefer, Tutu Kebu, Na En Ahu Her Ah, Ta Pet Her Art En Aben, Bakken En Paser, Astu Pahati, Her Na En Ahu, Mech Pa Pa Aha Her Peter, Kedems Astu Mbaku, Chetek Uha En Ernu Nefer. Awa Er Art Pau Her Baku En Paser Geru. Uzaan Ha Paheri Ma Aheru. Er Atep Na En Usehu En Ta Sehe. Jechev En Na En Ahutiu Asten. Taat Pedeta. Ker pa ha a a ord. Jach sen, arien, mekem, emar sen sher ta ha, si nefer ta ord. Neferui peru en retek pa ya, shera, ren pet nefer, shoot em sechabu, sen bet semuneb, ker na en behesu nefer er chet neb. A fine day, one is cool. The oxen are drawing. The heaven is doing according to our hearts. Let us work for the noble. Hasten, leader, forward with the oxen. Behold, the prince is standing and looking on. Friend, hasten at the work. Let us finish in good time. 
I shall do more than the work due to the noble. Be silent. The prince, Bahari, deceased, proceeds to load the barges in the river meadow. He says to the farm laborers, hasten ye. The cornfields are broken up. The Nile was very great. Say, we are doing so. Behold us. Fear not for the cornfields. They are very good. Twice excellent is your exclamation, my son. The year is good, free of ills, healthy in all herbs, and the calves are excellent beyond anything. So the second, so the second poetic excerpt is reaping again in Egyptian and English. Our Alek na jeba ha pesej, nuk sechama set. Astu, emar ashere, ha aha as en abutil. Ken en usheb jetsen, karu pen nefer per en ta, ta mahi per ta, ta pet per art en aben, bakken mer aben. Amen na uat jet, mek a en en mesheru, emar na en kehesu en sef, ger en pa heru. If you bring me 11,009 sheaves, I am the man to strip them all. Quick, do not chatter, you old quack of a laborer. In answering chant, they say, this is a good day. Come out onto the land. The north wind has come out. The sky is going according to our heart. Let us work and bind, bind firm our heart. Give me a hand. Behold, we shall come in the evening. Do not repeat the meanness of yesterday. Cease it today. And then the third and final poetic excerpt, Threshing, again Egyptian and English. Asten, merechui ten, pa bu au, pehef na en kanam. Au pa shu shemu, chetu en pa shu sunt at en remu. En ursh pa neba her remena rechui, su aba. Heten enten, heten enten, ahu. Heten enten, heten enten. Cheha er on, at en nebuten, en erche orch en avten, tu tu keb. Hasten ye, quicken your feet. The water is coming and will soon reach the baskets. The sun is hot. May the sun be given fish in payment for the corn. Does not the pole stay all day on my shoulder very firmly? That is my wish. Thresh for yourselves, thresh for yourselves, oxen. Thresh for yourselves, thresh for yourselves. Straw to eat, corn for your masters. Let not your hearts be still. It is cool. So you had the rare experience of hearing ancient Egyptian spoken aloud. And to tell you how rare this is, we, when we first posted this on our website, we got an inquiry from a Broadway actor, stage actor, who was supposed to play an Egyptian in a play. And he had no idea how it was supposed to sound. So he was very excited to hear our poems. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so thank you, Ed. For that excellent reading and translation work, we really appreciate it. Now, continuing with the theme of authoritarianism, we're going to move toward, forward a few millennia to the modern era. Our next poem will be Complaint, a traditional woman's song from Mozambique that illustrates the suffering caused by forced labor at poverty wages. The original poem is in the long way language, and today, Sista Joy, the former Poet Laureate of Prince George's County will perform it in English. So, Sister Joy. Complaint. I suffer, I do. Oh, yay! I suffer, I do. I suffer, my heart is weeping. What's to be done? I suffer, my heart is weeping. I cultivate my cotton. I suffer, my heart is weeping, picking, picking, 
a whole basket full. I suffer, my heart is weeping. I've taken it to the Boma there. I suffer, my heart is weeping. They've given me five escudos. I suffer, my heart is weeping. When I reflect on all this, oh yeah, I suffer, I do. I suffer, my heart is weeping. My husband, that man, I suffer, my heart is weeping. He went there to Luabo. I suffer, my heart is weeping. He went to work, work hard. I suffer, my heart is weeping. He broke off some sugar cane to eat. I suffer, my heart is weeping. Leaving work, he was arrested. I suffer, my heart is weeping. He was taken to the police. I suffer, my heart is weeping. He was beaten on the hand. I suffer, my heart is weeping. When I reflect on all this, oh yay, I suffer, I do. I suffer, my heart is weeping. Our next poem is called, With Whom Shall I Sing? And it is a traditional 19th century song from Malawi, originally in the Maseko Nagoni language. The song laments disruption caused by conflicts among warring factions. But to this day, it is often performed at weddings and other celebrations in Malawi. Sister Joy will perform this poem in English today. There are these are two, the same two people. The same two. The same two. Thus, why do you find each other? At the homestead? The same two. The same two. Thus, why do you find each other at the homestead? With whom shall I sing? The Inkosi has ordered Sorry, Satan. Sorry to Sally. Chikwange. Ay! With whom shall I sing? The Inkosi has ordered. The boys are refusing. The Inkosi has ordered. To our people. With whom shall I sing? The Inkosi has ordered. Next, we are incredibly honored to feature the works of Dr. Abdulatif Abdallah, who will be performing three of his poems. First, Kuno Kunena, which means speaking out. The second, Suwati, which means conviction. And the third, Mamba, means crocodile. These will be performed via video recording. Dr. Abdallah is a Kenyan poet who was a political prisoner in the 1970s who wrote while in solitary confinement and had his work smuggled out. He writes in the Kavita dialect of Swahili. Please note that the title of the third poem, Mamba, which means crocodile, refers to the first president of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, who imprisoned Dr. Abdallah for speaking out against him. In 2018, Dr. Abdallah received the Fonlan Nichols Award for Excellence in Creative Writing and contributions to the struggle for human rights and expression from the US-based African Literature Association. After we view the video of the three poems in their original language, Greg Nedved will also read these poems in English. Unokunena. Unokunena kwanini kukalikomea kuno? Kwani kunena kunani? ukashikwa kani vino kani tiso na kini na kunidumia mno kana manako kunena kuonekana nikui kuna nakuku kunena kuneno akakutakiri kuna manako kuona kunena kuma sikui kunena wakibuona kukuita kawakali kunena kana kwanuka kukuona kukunena siwati 
Si wapi ni shishi yenu si wapi kwani ni wapi Si wapi ni ndio hilo tabishika kwa vyote vyote si wapi mimi ninalo hapano au popote hadi kaburini sote mimi ninalo tufikie Si wapi ngaadhibiwa adhabu kila mifano si wapi ningaambiwa kwa kila kinono si wapi lilo sawa si libadui mkono hata nikaumwa meno mkono si ubadui si wapi si ushindani ukasema ni ushindani si wapi ifahamuni sababu ya waungwana si wapi damu imani nilithaminiwa sana na kuiwata naona itakuwa ni mbali si wapi nimeradiwa kufikwa na kila mawi si wapi ningaambiwa niaminiwa hayali si wapi kisha nikawa kama nzi hivyo sini kama na karibi sini na Mungu msaidia mama na milande ninge kama wabao ni upande upendeze wasomao ni ufumbe wafumbue wazao kuna mama mtoto nimetaka bari ajijamba na kujiona hodari waamba kwa mataishi dahari na mkuli uhuru za kipumba afikiri nataishiwa na nguvu na kaburi hakika ni mabadiliko akumbuke siku yake ikifika roho yake ajue itamtoka nguvu zake ikomoche zitafika afahamu mtu hajui la kesho hata dumu anga tumia vitisho maadamu lenye mwanzo lina mwisho kumo kunena speaking out why has speaking out provoked my imprisonment what therein compelled my confinement invalid insistence incited anger against me apparently speaking out is viewed with contempt speaking out may be distasteful to some yet others do not regard it negatively encountering each other they hesitate not to embrace so if speaking out stinks should i shut up siwat conviction i will not abandon it, that which i hold dear why should i abandon it i will not abandon it i'll hold fast to my conviction come what may i will not abandon it if and i will never part here or anywhere till in the same grave we are together buried i will not abandon it even if suffering all manner of punishment i will not abandon it even if told that I'll be handsomely rewarded I will not abandon it that which is right my hand will not relinquish it even if severely beaten my hand will not let go I will not abandon it think not that I am simply being stubborn I will not abandon it oh you people understand the reason why I will not abandon it for this is my conviction which I hold so dear and to abandon it just like that would be impossible I will not abandon it prepared I am to face every danger I will not abandon it even if told I believe in fantasies I will not abandon it and then become like a fly that I'll never be indeed I repeat that I'll never be so help me god mamba crocodile i too have words i'll join those already speaking i'll gild my verse so it pleases those who were reading and twist these words for their sense may be misleading there's a croc gliding smugly down the river a boastful sap who believes he's brave and clever he loves to talk tells the world he'll live forever with fools can see he strings himself along Sustains belief that he'll always be the strong, but self-deceit and pride can only last so long. He should know someday he'll breathe his last. 
He too will go once his die has been cast. Time will show his power finally past. What lies ahead, none of us can comprehend. What fate has set, no show of fierceness can transcend. Don't forget, what has a start must have an end. Thank you, Greg. To conclude our section on authoritarianism, we will be showing a video performance of Patria y Vida, which means homeland and life, by Afro-Cuban singer and actor Yotuo. This song was a centerpiece of the anti-government demonstrations in Cuba in July 2021, which resulted from shortages of food and medicine caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. So the song is sung in Spanish and there are English subtitles. sirena porque con tu voz se van mis penas y este sentimiento y es tan viejo tú me dueles tanto aunque estés lejos hoy yo te invito a caminar por mi solar para demostrarte de que si sí, ven tus ideales somos humanos aunque no pensemos iguales no nos tratemos ni dañemos como animales esta es mi forma de decírtelo Llora mi pueblo y siento yo su voz Tu 59, yo doble 2, 60 años Trancada el dominó, ah, mambo y platillo a los 500 de la Habana Mientras en casa las cazuelas ya no tienen jama Que celebramos si la gente anda deprisa Cambiando Che Guevara, llama al tipo la divisa Todo ha cambiado, ya no es lo mismo Entre tú y yo hay un abismo Publicidad, un paraíso, un varadero Mientras las madres lloran por sus hijos que se fueron Se acabó Tu cinco nuevo, doble dos Ya se acabó ah, eh. 60 años, trancado el dominó, mira Se acabó Tu cinco nueve, yo doble dos Ya se acabó eh. 60 años, trancado el dominó Somos artistas, somos Verdadera, no la mal contada Somos la dignidad de un pueblo entero pisoteada A punta de pistola y de palabras que aún son nada No más mentira Mi pueblo pide libertad, no más doctrina Ya no gritemos patria o muerte, sino patria y vida Y empezar a construir lo que soñamos Siga corriendo la sangre, por querer pensar diferente ¿Quién le dijo que el cubo es de ustedes? Si mi cubo es de toda mi gente Se acabó, ya se venció tu tiempo Se rompió el silencio, ya se acabó Ya se acabó la risa y el llanto ya está corriendo Se acabó, y no tenemos miedo Se acabó el engaño, ya se acabó Ay, es un 62, haciendo daño con la incertidumbre de pasado plantado Que es amigo puesto, listos pa' morirnos Izamos la bandera todavía La represión del régimen al día Anamel y Ramos firme con su poesía Omar Arrijo Kiola dándonos aliento de vida Rompieron nuestra puerta, violaron nuestro templo Y el mundo está consciente de que el movimiento San Isidro continúa Seguimos puesto Seguimos la misma, la seguridad metiendo prisma Esas cosas a mí como me indignan Se acabó el enigma de esa tu revolución maligna Soy funky style y aquí tienen mi firma y ustedes están sobrando, ya no les queda nada, ya se van bajando El pueblo se cansó de estar aguantando, un nuevo amanecer estamos esperando Se acabó, tu cinco nueve, yo doble dos Ya se acabó, ah, eh. 60 años, tranquilo, dominó, mira Se acabó, tu cinco nueve, yo doble dos Ya se acabó, eh. 60 años
going to move to colonialism. Our first poem illustrating the theme of colonialism is the Song of the Maquila Bearers. Song of the Maquila Bearers, a traditional song in the Longway language originating in Mozambique in the early 20th century. The Maquila Bearers were plantation workers who carried the occupying Europeans on hammocks, and they sang songs such as this one to keep pace as they ran. Often using satirical and protest language that the Europeans could not understand. Jill Robbins and Aral Ameni will perform the song in English. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. Oh, oh. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. Oh. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. Pick it up, quickly. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. Come quickly. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. The machila must be carried along fast. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. The machila, uh, you, you'll be helped now. You will. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. You'll be helped in just a moment. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. Here now, you'll be helped. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. Servants, where are you, servants? You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. Tell the bears. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. This group must go to help the others. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. You, hurry up there. We'll drop it. You weep. You weep stiffly when you are old. White people came to be worked for. Heavy, white men. People have to work for them, that's true. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. Come quickly, come quickly. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. Sweep the yard, that one, sweep the yard. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. Those white men are coming here today. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. Come quickly, it's midday. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. At midday, we'll arrive. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. Hunger, hurry, hurry. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. The white men are eating. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. Machila. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. Bearer. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. Keep your backbone steady. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. Run. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. At midday, we'll arrive at Mochema. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. At Mochema, at Mochema. Hurry, I'm going to drop it. You weep, you weep stiffly when you are old. Our next poem illustrating the theme of colonialism is Here Comes Rui's Steamer, another song from Mozambique, originally in the Chisena language. This poem laments the oppression caused by a man named Rui Pereira de Lima, who had been granted the right to levy four sacks of rice from every adult woman in the area at one third of the market value. The poem will be performed in English by Sister Joy. Here comes Roy's steamer. Here comes Roy's steamer. Aye, run away. Aye, run away, gardeners. Aye, run away, gardeners. You must run, father. You must run, mother. You must run, mother, father. You must run, father. You must run, mother. You must run from that village. Brothers, you must run from that village. Father. A devil has descended on the village, Father. You must run from that place. Fathers, brothers, the steamer. Fathers, brothers, the steamer. Fathers, brothers, the steamer. Father, fear for Parira. Father, fear for Parira. Father, fear for Parira. You must run, you must run, run, you must run. Run, father. You must run fast. Faster, father. 
You must run from that village. You must run from that village. Get rid of the kachashu of yours. The, the sepas have come. The sepas have come. The sepas have come. You'll be tied up today. You'll be tied up today. You'll be tied up today. Father, you, who are brewing kashashu today, you must run away, Father. Mother, I always have nightmares. You'll be tied up with rope. Mother, you Parira people are finished today. Mother, I heard you've been shipped away. Mother, I've heard you've been shipped away. Mother, I've heard you've been shipped away. Gone aboard. You've gone aboard. You've gone aboard. You've gone aboard. You've been shipped away in the steamer. Here comes Roy's steamer. I run away. I run away, gardeners. I run away, gardeners. Thank you so much for that reading of this poem. Th thank you, thank you. Our next and final poem in the colonialism portion of the program is called Amphi Apam Nipatire, translated as Man of the Millennium. This is a contemporary poem written by a Ghanaian poet named Ajay Agiai Ba'a in 2021. The poem is a eulogy for Kwame Nkrumah, a revolutionary leader of Ghanaian independence and visionary advocate of the Pan-African movement. The author is a professor at the University of Ghana School of Continuing and Distance Education, an editor of The Mamba, Africa's first international haiku journal, and a PhD student at the University of Waikato, New Zealand. He will be performing the poem in the Twi language via recording, followed by a performance in English by Greg Nedved. Mm ni petitri amien sema amenwene ma dr kwame nkroma o mampeni a odikan a ofri gana a ewo ebibi man mu ofra ne ni wona ni suade ne hon nti na obubu na pre wona na mu ntu mu na ohwane na ase akunya wo bre a woti a ne na achi na osan nso kan ne ntaban famye se ne a orintumi nkusunsan ntenchia ne nkoa somo ntoma a na Wadi efra ebibi mai. Na opamna no sene ebe a wari ntumi ne ebibi mai nkaye ni tokese. Mani wu wa asase prade ebisu a na oko wa mwa wa mribi a ekwe mwa. Na uhunu se, na ukuta ajone kese a ne bro ni tikwa mkura ketu wa so. Na anso, wa ntumi anka na budina anshe. Ebibrim berema kukurudufo. Na sabri ne sama ijina akwene. A ere pen na ore shenyema. Bre a ne insano ajuma. Abeye ahu nini a ere hune huna niya uni adnisuadu huna. Man of the millennium. They blinded him for his vision. And crippled him for his movement. They removed his chair when he stood up and clipped his wings from flying high to tear through the cloak of injustice and oppression. They sealed his mouth from sending brotherly messages of unity and made him die in a barren land where he once sprinkled some seeds of hope. They saw his brain too big to be housed in a smallish skull, but could not deny him a place of honor. Africa's man of the millennium. And now his ghost stands on guard, humbly watching and waiting, as his mighty works have become hunters, haunting the visionless. Now we will move into our final section of the program, which will explore themes of identity, ethnicity, and gender. To introduce this section, we'll be featuring several poems by an American author whose name is likely familiar to most of you, Langston Hughes. Langston Hughes was a 20th century African-American poet whose work was strongly influenced by the rhythms and images of jazz. 
Hughes led a highly multifaceted life. He also studied engineering, wrote several plays, worked as a journalist, and was a world traveler who studied the human condition and inequality. Sister Joy will be performing several of Langston Hughes' works in English. Beggar Boy, Cross, Lament for Dark Peoples, and The Gesture. Following each performance in English, our esteemed museum colleague, Patricia Bejarano Fisher, will perform translations she has prepared in Spanish. Beggar Boy by Langston Hughes. What is there within this beggar land that I can neither hear nor feel nor see, that I can neither know nor understand? And still it calls to me. Is not he but a shadow in the sun, a bit of clay? brown, ugly, given life. And yet he <coughs> plays upon his flute a wild, free tune, as if fate had not bled him with her knife. Niño por Diosero. ¿Qué habrá dentro de ese chico por Diosero que yo no puedo oír, ni ver, ni sentir? que no puedo saber ni comprender, pero que me sigue llamando. ¿Será que no es más que una sombra en el sol? Un trozo de arcilla, marrón, feo, que recibió vida, mas sigue tocando con su flauta un son alocado y libre, como si el destino no lo hubiera desangrado ya. Cross by Langston Hughes. My old man's a white old man, and my old mother's black. If ever I cursed my white old man, I take my curses back. If ever I cursed my black old mother and wished she were in hell, I'm sorry for that evil wish, and now I wish her well. My old man died in a fine big house. My mom died in a shack. I wonder where I'm going to die, being neither white nor black. Cruce. Mi viejo es un hombre blanco y mi vieja mujer negra. Si alguna vez maldije a mi viejo blanco, retiro mi maldición. Si a mi vieja negra llegué a maldecir y a los infiernos la envié, lamento ese mal deseo y hoy le auguro todo bien. Mi viejo murió en gran casa, mi mamá en un cuchitrín. Me pregunto, ¿dónde iré a morir yo? Que ni blanco ni negro soy. Lament for Dark Peoples by Langston Hughes. I was a red man one time, but the white men came. I was a black man, but the white men came. They drove me out of the forest. They took away, they took me away from the jungles. I lost my trees. I lost my silver moons. Now they caged me in the circus of civilization. Now I heard with the many caged in the circus of civilization.
Lamento por las gentes oscuras. Fui un hombre rojo alguna vez, pero llegaron los blancos. Fui un hombre negro también, pero los blancos llegaron. Me echaron de los bosques, me arrancaron de las selvas, perdí mis árboles, perdí mis nudas de plata. Ahora me han enjaulado en el circo de la civilización. Ahora ando en manada con la multitud enjaulada en el circo de la civilización. The Jester by Langston Hughes. In one hand, I hold tragedy, and in the other, comedy, masks for the soul. Laugh with me, you would laugh. Weep with me, you would weep. Tears are my laughter. Laughter in my pain. Cry at my grinning mouth, if you will. Laugh at my sorrow's rain. I am the black jester, the dumb clown of the world, the booted, booted fool of silly men. Once I was wise. Shall I be wise again? El bufón. En una mano llevo la tragedia y en la otra la comedia. Máscaras para el alma. Ríen conmigo y cómo reirían. Lloren conmigo y cómo llorarían. Las lágrimas son mi risa, la risa es mi dolor. Lloren si quieren al ver mi boca resueña. Rían al ver el reino de mi pena. Soy el bufón negro, el payaso bufo del mundo. El botado, el tonto botado de hombres necios. Fui sabio antes, ¿será que lo vuelvo a hacer? for her impactful interpretation of Langston Hughes' vivid imagery, and to Pat Fisher for sharing her elegant Spanish translations. Um, now, to conclude our brief study of Langston Hughes, we're going to present one of his most famous poems, The Negro Speaks of Rivers, which will be read by Rukne Getiso, our intern from Howard University. And we'll introduce the poem with some comments and a recording of Langston Hughes' own voice about what inspired him to write this poem. So just take a moment to listen to the introduction. This is The Negro Speaks of Rivers, one of my earliest poems written in 1920, just after I came out of high school. The way this poem came to be written was that I was going to Mexico to visit my father who lived in Mexico City and on the train going across the Mississippi River just outside St. Louis, I looked out the window and I saw this great muddy river flowing down toward the heart of the south and I began to think about what this river had meant to the Negro people, how in a sense our history was linked to this river, how in slavery time my grandmother told me that to be sold down the Mississippi was one of the worst things that could happen to a Negro slave. And then uh, I remembered that I'd read about Abraham Lincoln going down the Mississippi as a young man, and he went on a raft to New Orleans, and he saw human beings bought and sold in the slave market there, and he was so horrified by this that he never forgot it. 
And many years later, of course, we know that it was Lincoln who signed the Emancipation Proclamation. And so, uh, as the train went on into the gathering dusk, because it had been about sunset when we crossed the river, I took my father's letter out of my pocket and began to write down on the back of his letter this poem, The Negro Speaks of Rivers. I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood and human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathed in the Euphrates when dogs were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. I heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans. And I've seen his mighty bosom turn all golden in the sunset. I've known rivers, ancient dusky rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. <laughs> 